the Swedish Mjolnir self-propelled mortar, officially designated as Granat Kastar Pansar Bang 90, is a cornerstone of Sweden's modern indirect fire support capabilities. Developed by BAE Systems Heglunds, this 120mm mortar system is mounted on the CV-90 track chassis and tailored to support mechanized battalions with rapid and effective firepower. The Mjolnir project has undergone a dynamic evolution. The 40 CV-90 hulls used for the first batch of Mjolnirs were originally purchased in 2003 with the intent to integrate the Patria Advanced Mortar System. However, economic concerns led to the cancellation of the Amos order, and the vehicles were mothballed until December 2016, when BAE Systems was awarded a contract to retrofit them with twin 120mm mortars supplied by the Slovakian defense company Constructa. The first four pre-series vehicles were produced in 2018 for instructor and technician training, followed by initial deliveries in January 2019. All 40 vehicles from the first order were delivered by 2020. Subsequent orders further expanded Sweden's Mjolnir fleet. In 2022, the Swedish Defense Material Administration contracted BAE Systems for an additional 20 units with deliveries slated for 2023 to 2025. Another order for 20 more systems was placed in January 2023 bringing the total number of Mjolnirs in the Swedish arsenal to 80 by 2025. The new batches, along with upgrades to the original 40 units, will incorporate the C4I LSS Mark Artillery Command and Control System to enhance network-centric warfare capabilities. Design-wise, the Mjolnir is a robust turreted mortar system mounted on the CV-90 Mark I chassis. The turret houses twin 120mm mortar tubes, which are loaded via a semi-automated mechanical system using two loading arms that lift shells from under the armored protection for muzzle loading. The turret offers a 60 degrees frontal firing arc with an elevation range of 45 degrees to 83 degrees, although it does not have full 360 degree traverse or direct fire capability, a key distinction from the earlier AMOS system. The Mjolnir carries 56 shells in the turret bustle and can store additional rounds in the hull. In terms of firepower, the Mjolnir excels in rapid and concentrated indirect fire. It can fire four shells in under eight seconds, achieve a maximum rate of fire of 16 rounds per minute, and sustain a rate of six rounds per minute. Its maximum range is approximately 13 kilometers with standard ammunition. The design prioritizes a high volume of fire in a short time frame, allowing for effective suppression of enemy positions before they can respond or take cover. Crucially, the system's shoot and scoot capability enables it to rapidly change position to avoid counter-battery fire with the ability to start firing within two minutes of deployment and vacate the firing position within one minute after the last round. Protection mirrors that of the CV-90 Mark I, providing armor against small arms fire and shell fragments. Unlike older self-propelled mortar systems, the Mjolnir ensures the crew remains fully protected inside the vehicle during loading and firing, enhancing survivability against airburst munitions. Notably, the Mjolnir lacks smoke grenade launchers, a potential vulnerability in certain combat scenarios. Mobility is another strong suit. The CV-90 chassis, driven by a 525 horsepower Scania DS-14 diesel engine, achieves a top speed of 70 km per hour and delivers excellent off-road performance, making it well-suited for Sweden's rugged, forested terrain. Its relatively low ground pressure further enhances adaptability to Scandinavian landscapes. In operational terms, the Mjolnir plays a vital role in Sweden's modern warfare doctrine by providing mobile, responsive, and precise indirect fire support to mechanized infantry units. It bridges the gap between towed mortars and larger artillery systems, allowing for rapid deployment and repositioning. Its use in conjunction with Sweden's networked C4I systems further enhances situational awareness and coordination on the battlefield. Comparatively, the Mjolnir offers a balance between cost, firepower, and mobility. Unlike the AMOS system, which had direct fire capabilities and a more automated turret, 
Mjolnir trades automation for greater ammunition capacity and lower complexity. This makes it a pragmatic choice for Sweden's mechanized battalions, focusing on efficient indirect fire rather than the versatility of direct engagement. Regionally, the Mjolnir competes with systems like Finland's Amos and Poland's RAC 120mm mortar. The Amos remains more advanced in terms of automation and versatility, while the RAC offers wheeled mobility for rapid strategic deployment. However, Mjolnir's seamless integration with Sweden's CV-90 fleet provides logistical advantages and strong battlefield synergy. Beyond Sweden, international interest in the Mjolnir system is growing. In June 2024, the Netherlands announced plans to procure 15 Mjolnir-equipped CV-90s as part of a broader effort to modernize their mechanized infantry units. The Dutch Army, currently using 81mm mortars deployed from Fennec reconnaissance vehicles, seeks to enhance its fire support with Mjolnir's longer range, up to 13 kilometers, and superior rate of fire. The integration with modern C4I systems and GPS-guided ammunition will significantly bolster the Netherlands' ground-based firepower by 2028. Moreover, the growing demand for modern self-propelled mortar systems like Mjolnir is part of a broader shift in European defense strategies. As nations across Europe recalibrate their defense postures in light of emerging threats, indirect fire support systems are gaining prominence. The Mjolnir's combination of mobility, protection, and rapid fire capability directly addresses the need for fast, adaptable artillery support in an era where counter battery threats are more sophisticated than ever. The system's flexibility also opens the door to further technological enhancements. BAE Systems has hinted at the possibility of future upgrades, including integration with next generation fire control systems, GPS guided munitions, and enhanced armor packages. This means that Mjolnir is not only a solution for current battlefield requirements, but also a platform with growth potential, ensuring its relevance in the years to come. Additionally, Mjolnir fits seamlessly into Sweden's overarching defense strategy, which emphasizes high mobility, decentralized command structures, and rapid response capabilities. This aligns with Sweden's focus on total defense, a concept that blends military readiness with civilian support structures to enhance national resilience. In conclusion, the Swedish Mjolnir self-propelled mortar system represents a crucial element of modern mechanized warfare, offering a potent combination of mobility, protection, and firepower. With its methodical procurement strategy, steady technological upgrades, and growing export potential, Mjolnir stands as a reliable and effective solution for indirect fire support in both Swedish and allied NATO forces. Its comparative simplicity and battlefield effectiveness highlight Sweden's pragmatic approach to military modernization, solidifying Mjolnir's place within the broader landscape of European self-propelled artillery systems. <laughs>